We've probably all daydreamed at some point about what life will be like in the future. Whether you're optimistic, shimmering cities, hoverboards and robot assistants, or pessimistic, pollution, 3D advertising and robot overlords. Well, the future won't be quite like any of those. It will be dominated by challenges such as climate change, the ever-increasing population and artificial intelligence. The history of autonomous vehicles actually goes back quite far. The oldest example where we had autopilots, that's actually airplanes. And the first autopilot was already in 1912, where people were using an autopilot in an airplane to stabilize the flight and make it much easier for the pilot to fly the airplane. Maybe the most exciting right now, that's actually self-driving cars. In self-driving cars, we are not yet really at the full potential of self-driving cars. We're not driving uh, completely without drivers. There are different levels of autonomy. We are actually making big progress with uh, artificial intelligence in, in these vehicles that will hopefully get us uh, soon to higher levels of autonomy. What we need to do is we need to collect tons of data sets, uh, images of people in different situations, images of pedestrians on the road, uh, images maybe of hidden pedestrians behind cars, and we need really thousands, millions of these images. AI is trained on examples to train a network to recognize objects on the road of images where something is labeled as a truck or is labeled as a car. And if you have only been training on cars and trucks, then you will never be able to recognize a bicycle. So you will have to provide examples of, of recognizing a bicycle. The whole point is to teach the computers uh, to, to mimic uh, the computation that happens in the human brain when we do object recognition, right? Because it's very easy to, for us to tell if this is a dog or a, uh, or a cat, uh, but it's very difficult uh, to write down the code that actually captures what is a dog and what is a cat. Traditionally, trust has been among people. It's a social phenomenon that relates to how people interact with each other. But now that we are looking at the trust between humans and, and machines, then the trust gets a slightly twist uh, in, in its meaning. So for example, it has been shown that if people ride an autonomous train, they are more likely to trust the autonomous train than when they ride an autonomous car. And interestingly, it has been shown that if there is a human-like body with, with his or her hand on, on, on the steering wheel. That could also uh, positively influence the issue of trust. Although that human body is not going to steer the, the, the autonomous vehicle. We want to show that if people understand how, how the AI works in, in the autonomous vehicle uh, and, and they can explain how it works, then they're more likely to accept it from a trust point of view. Usually these cars, they have sensors that look all around the car. They might have information from other cars that they are sharing. So they are much better in detecting some situations where there might be uh, pedestrians uh, on the road or hidden or other cars driving in, in a strange way or there's an accident behind a corner. So the, the problem with the data on how much they will reduce accidents is um, that uh, there, there was one statistics, I think, which is quite credible, which says that it's 40%. But then there are ones that say, well, basically 96% of the accidents are based on human errors, so self-driving cars can rule out 96% of the accidents. Another advantage is that there are still some people who don't have access to either their own car or maybe they cannot drive themselves for, for various reasons, maybe uh, because of age or, or disability. And uh, all these people, they would have a wider access to individual autonomy by self-driving cars. A lot of people perceive AI as something which has its own ideas and emotions and, and feelings and uh, can perhaps show initiative in situations that it has never encountered before, have initiatives on their own how to act. And this is quite inaccurate, at least at the level of AI that, that we have today. I think that the current perception of AI is really much um, influenced by the media, by science fiction movies. They think AI has its own intention, it does what it wants to do basically, and uh, also at a certain moment it may basically go beyond the human um, capabilities and, and rule over human beings. It's nothing but an algorithm that uh, looks at the past examples and based on that makes a decision. AI does nothing but what you have programmed and in that sense it's not magic. When it comes to autonomous vehicles, making sure that they are safe and also we can explain why they are safe to the public, that also can contribute enormously to the issue of trust.